In this topic, we will learn how to find the standard deviation for group data using Sharp EL W531S series calculator. What is standard deviation? Similar to range and interquartile range, standard deviation is another measure of spread. For instance, higher standard deviation means that the spread is greater. Here we have two groups of people, group A and group B. Each group has 5% each. If we measure the heights of these two groups, which group do you think will have a higher standard deviation? Yes, group A will have a higher standard deviation because the spread of their heights is greater. Now, standard deviation is the measure of the deviation of a set of data from its mean. And the formula is given by this. The four symbol here represents the summation, which means the adding up of. And hence, the summation of f means we add up all the frequency to give us the total frequency. Summation of fx squared means that we multiply each value of x squared with its frequency and we add them all up. And this is how it will look like. We multiply the square of each value of x with its frequency and we add them all up. This is somewhat similar to how you find the numerator for mean. Now, what do you think is the summation of fx over the summation of f? Yes, it is known as the mean. And therefore, the standard deviation will measure the deviation of the data from its mean here. And this will give us a more accurate measure of spread. Here we have an example showing grouped data. For marks between 0 and 10, we have a frequency of 2. For marks between 10 and 20, we have a frequency of 6 and so on. And we are asked to find the standard deviation. Now let's see how to use the calculator to find the standard deviation. First, we'll need to press mode and we'll have this screen here, followed by 1 to choose statistics. And we will press 0 for SD, which represents standard deviation. And this will appear on your screen to show you that you are now in standard deviation mode. You'll now need to input this set of data here and you'll notice that the value of x is actually the midpoint for each of these class interval. So let us input the first set of data which is 5 for the marks and 2 for the frequency. We'll first press 5 followed by the comma button here and 2 for the frequency followed by the change button and this will give us data set 1. Next, let's skin this set of data by pressing 15, comma, 6, followed by change to give us data set 2. For the next data, we will key in 25, comma, 13, followed by the change button to give us data set 3. For this set of data, we will key in 35, comma, 9 change to give us data set 4. Next, we'll input the last set of data by pressing 45 comma 3 change to give us data set 5. You can press the on or cancel button to go back to this screen here. To recall, the standard deviation is given by this formula here. And we will use the calculator to help us to find the summation of fx squared, the summation of f, and the mean. To do so, we will find the summation of fx squared by pressing alpha, followed by this negative button here, and equal to give us 26,625. The symbol for submission of fx squared on the calculator is this. Next, we will find the total frequency by pressing alpha 0 followed by equal. And the total frequency is 33. The symbol for total frequency on the calculator is the letter n. Finally, we will find the mean by pressing 
alpha four equal to give us twenty six point recurring five one, and we can round it off to twenty six point five one five. And the symbol for me is this. The X with a line above it. We we'll substitute these values into the formula here, and you we'll have the square root of twenty six thousand six hundred twenty five over thirty three minus the mean, which is twenty six point five one five square, and we'll have ten point two marks rounded off to three significant figures. For standard deviation. It is necessary to put the units as well. Finally, you can use the calculator to help us to check the answer for standard deviation by pressing alpha 6 equal and we'll have the standard deviation to be 10.2. The symbol for standard deviation is this, which is sigma x. In this example, we have two schools x and y which took the same national examination for mathematics. The standard deviation of the marks and the mean marks are given in the table below. So school X has the standard deviation of 10.2 marks and a mean of 26.5 marks, whereas school Y has a standard deviation of 9.8 marks and a mean of 27.9 marks. Using the table above, briefly comments on the marks between the two schools. In other words, we have to compare the standard deviation and the mean of these two schools. Comparing the standard deviation, you realize that school-wise marks are less spread out because the standard deviation is lower. Now, less spread out also means that it is more consistent. Comparing the mean, school-wise marks are better because the mean is higher. It means that, on average, School-wise students are scoring better, and therefore school-wise marks are better if the mean is higher. In summary, this is the formula for finding standard deviation, and we will need to find summation of fx squared, the summation of f, and the mean. The symbols on the calculator is given by this for summation of fx squared, and the letter n for total frequency and the letter X with a line above for finding the mean. And we can use the calculator to help us to double check the answer for standard deviation. And the symbol on the calculator for finding standard deviation is given by sigma X here. And that's all for this topic.